Welcome to Quera's Quantum Computing Buyer's Guide. Today, we'll break down some essential factors to consider when choosing a quantum computer. There are many ways to build quantum computers, each with its own advantages and disadvantages. Whether you're an enterprise, an academic institution, or a research center, choosing the right quantum computing modality and vendor is important to unlocking the full potential of quantum technology. Superconducting quantum computing is one of the most commercially advanced technologies. It uses superconducting circuits that are cooled to near absolute zero, where they conduct electricity with zero resistance. This modality is fast, with gate operations being computed within nanoseconds. Companies like IBM and Google have invested heavily in superconducting qubits, and several such computers are available for use. However, superconducting qubits have short coherence times, meaning they can lose their quantum states quickly, making it more challenging to complete long calculations. They also require complex and expensive cooling systems, which can limit scalability, a key factor in solving truly useful problems. Trapped ion quantum computing is known for its long coherence times and precision. In these systems, ions are trapped in place using electromagnetic fields, while lasers control their quantum states. Trapped ion qubits often exhibit high fidelity, low error rates, making them a good choice for high precision applications. However, their gate operations are slower compared to superconducting qubits, which may limit their practical use in certain applications. Companies like IonQ and Quantinuum are leading the development of this technology, although scaling up to large numbers of qubits remains a technical challenge. Silicon-based quantum computing holds great promise because it leverages existing semiconductor manufacturing techniques. The idea is to use silicon spin qubits, which could eventually be integrated with classical computing components, potentially leading to more compact and commercially viable quantum processors. Silicon qubits are still in the research phase, with short coherence times being a significant challenge. However, the scalability potential is high, as it could piggyback on the well-established infrastructure of the semiconductor industry. Companies like Intel and DRAC are actively developing silicon quantum technologies. Photonics-based quantum computing uses photons, or light particles, to encode and manipulate qubits. The key advantage of this modality is that photons can operate at room temperature, eliminating the need for costly cryogenic cooling. Photonics is also ideal for quantum communication, thanks to its resistance to electromagnetic interference. However, the technology faces challenges with error correction and controlling individual photons, which complicates the development of large-scale quantum computers. Companies like PsiQuantum and Xanadu are leading the charge in this space, but commercial availability is still some years away. Neutral atom quantum computing uses neutral atoms as qubits, manipulated with laser light. Unlike modalities where qubits are static and thus can interact only with their neighbors, neutral atoms can be moved during the computation process, making algorithms more efficient and enabling new ways of error correction. One of the biggest advantages of this modality is its scalability. Tens of thousands of qubits can be controlled in a single computer. Additionally, neutral atom systems operate at room temperatures and thus don't require cryogenic cooling. While gate speeds are modest compared to superconducting qubits, the scalability and potential for large-scale quantum computation make this an attractive option for the future. Quera and Inflection are among the companies developing neutral atom quantum technology. In summary, each quantum computing modality offers unique advantages and trade-offs. Superconducting qubits are fast and widely available, but require extreme cooling and are sensitive to noise. Trapped ion systems are highly precise, but slower and harder to scale. Silicon quantum computing holds great potential for integration with existing technologies, though it's still in the research phase. Photonic quantum computing is ideal for quantum communication and operates at room temperature, but it's challenging to scale. Neutral atom quantum computing promises scalability with simpler cooling requirements, but trades off some speed. Beyond the general advantages and disadvantages of each modality, buyers should also consider vendor-specific details. Here are a few important ones. Hardware specifications differ for each model, the number of physical qubits, the error rates for single qubit and two qubit operations, the connectivity between the qubits and any special hardware features. Quantum error correction, QEC, is becoming increasingly important. How many logical qubits can be implemented, and what error-correcting codes are supported? 
Each vendor offers different levels of experience, financial stability, integration capabilities with classical high-performance computers, and varying installation and support services. Thank you for watching Quera's Quantum Computing Buyer's Guide. We invite you to explore our other videos for more insights into quantum technology. Also, visit Quera.com to learn more about our groundbreaking neutral atom quantum computers, available both on the cloud and for on-premises deployments.